M0FXP Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Let me just show you what we've got here. On the left, we've got the Bofeng DM1701 running OpenGD77. Also, on the right, the UV380, 390, or the RT3S running OpenGD77. In the middle, the classic and probably the most recommended DMR radio out there, the Anytone 878. There's a few variations, even the 868. But the 878 is the one that's got 500,000 contacts. All three of these are dual band VHF, UHF radios. All three can do APRS. The reason the Retivis and the Bofung can do APRS is because it's built into the OpenGD77 free special firmware. I mean, even they even have satellite mode if we go... The menu structures on the two red radios are exactly the same. We go down to satellite. Once you put your location in, you'll see that the well, it goes into satellite mode, which is excellent. Come out completely. You can manual dial. You right now we're listening to. Uh, my name is Tom. I repeat, Tango Oscar Mike. Uh, Tom is my UV three eighty. If I hit, pretty sure if I go here. Hold it, there you are, that will start to come through. Now the nice thing about the OpenGD77 firmware, and you can get this one on AliExpress for a £45 delivered, and it does work as a normal analog radio, it doesn't have to be DMR, sounds great. Now you don't have to use it with the modified firmware, you can use the original firmware, which is the classic blue screen, but there's a lot more to this firmware. The manual dial is a very important feature, so if you press the hash on both of these, on this one we could put in 2350, it's the talk group, and we're on 2350, I know it's busy at the moment, we're using a hotspot to see what we're doing, 2350, I'll show you my hotspot. So it's manual dial means you don't have to program it using software or what they call a code plug, or your computer. There's my hotspot in the background. It's quite a good one by DV Mega. In the middle, I know we're not seeing all the information. Like here, you're seeing the call sign. N2 LBL. I know we're not seeing that at the moment on the 878, but you will. You, what is, I've got to update the database. So I haven't done for a while because I've been doing some programming on this radio. And I've deleted the database. And so it... The database knows your number and it gets from the number, your DMR number, and you do need a DMR number to use DMR. It gets from that number, your name, address, all that kind of stuff, and displays it on the screen and your location <clears throat> in the world. So that's fascinating. They All three of these do VHF, UHF, but none of them will simultaneously... You can't hear them both at the same time. You're going to hear one or the other, although they're dual watch... Um, and you've got dual watch on these devices here. And if we, if there's no one talking, you'll see that there's dual watch on the 878. They are. It will simultaneously watch. You're seeing the A and the B band there. But you only ever hear one. If you buy the 578, you can hear two. And there's another radio I've got called the GD88. That will hear two at the same time. So the main point is, you know, if you're looking for a, a low-cost way of having a very, very good DMR radio with satellite functions and OpenGD77 version of APRS, then these are ones to go for because this is like £70. For, that's the bargain. The absolute bargain. They're still on there now. I saw it the other day, the, the DM1701. Absolute bargain, big battery, nice tall radio, nice radio to use. £45 delivered, come on, UK. These are very common, and there are other models as well. And I've got the TYT, I think it's the 9600 base model, but it's not a colour screen. But the eight, if someone ever says to me, what is the, the radio that everyone gets for DMR? They all get these, the 878. And because there's a lot of support out there, and a lot of code plugs, uh, and uh, there, there's no such thing as an easy-to-use DMR radio. It doesn't exist. There's a lot to learn. It's that simple. Even learning hotspots and how to 
get your hotspot ready. There's a lot to learn. You don't think you can just pick it up, push the BTT and, and away you go. It's definitely not like that with DMR, with most modern digital radios, but definitely DMR is the hard one. And then I'll just finish off by showing you this. It's bad conditions tonight, but during the day, this was full. This is the Malahet DSP2, easily the best receiver I've ever had. I've been using it so much uh, in the last day or so. Uh, it's just so easy and good. You can't tell the difference between using this and a high end. Um, and I've got high end. A high end ham radio like 7610. X-ray alpha. You, you know, alpha. I'm picking this up more often and it does have a big battery in it. Hello, I'm picking this up more often than I am my turning on my big giant HF radios. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, 73.